Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome to which English accent is the sexiest, or at least according to a manual from the UK right here. And so he's going to be judging between an American accent, a Canadian accent, and a Scottish accent to just see which one he can pick out with his ear. Hello, I'm Emmanuel from the UK. I would say it's not just me, a lot of British people find the Scottish accent quite attractive because we are in England, but above us is Scotland. They have a very nice sounding accent to our ears. So I quite like the Scottish accent, also Australian yeah. accent. Oh. The Australian accent is very good. Wow, all right. Very sexy. <laughs> Interesting. Which is the best? Hi, I'm Hallie and um, I work as a commercial actress. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Quite a smooth, soft sounding voice. Yeah, so I would say scores well in terms of attractiveness. Already I'll be still. Are you Google? Because you're everything I'm searching for. Oh god. Ooh. I haven't actually heard that one before and I kinda like it in the fact that it at least is original in that regard, but it, it just like any pickup line, it, it surely just wouldn't work. I mean he did say that, like she said, it was very smooth, very, very, very well-rounded, I guess, overall. And I guess that's because a lot of people are almost numb to the American accent, as we can know and he doesn't know, or I guess he probably does know, but she is definitely going to be an American. And giving a very generic American, I mean, I guess there is going to be, like, South and then California, and then Boston, and there's a few accents that people could pick out as being North, South, East, West, but otherwise, it's all going to be in that general American accent. But even still, something about him talking about the smoothness and the world roundedness of it, just leading to it being attractive. Meanwhile, you can't see the person, but they can see you, and they're right next to you. It just feels a little bit awkward. So at least they took it on board, or she took it positively, and I guess you would, because it is a compliment, but it just feels a little bit random, a little bit weirdly random, a little bit awkward. Ready, I'll be still. Are you Google? Because you're everything I'm searching for. <laughs> it's so badly good. Ooh. Goodly bad. Okay, <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was good. That was nice. <laughs> that was, uh, I think she's practiced that. <laughs> she's done it a lot of times before, Smooth I guess. Delivery. I pick up guys like this yeah. a lot. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> hey. I can tell. Yeah, usually you do, you. I do. Hey, there's something wrong with my phone. Your number's not in it. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Again, I, I guess, I don't know if I've just never really heard it in reverse like this, or I've just never really heard her say it, or I've just never even heard them at all. But definitely never heard the Google one. That one's a little bit more generic, but it definitely also came across my ear as something new. Yeah, I know. I think the voice matches the pickup line, let's put it that way. When I first what? heard the voice, my first thought was America. Okay. But now I'm not sure. Oh. I think I have to he hear it a few more times. If it's not America, that is. But my first instinct was just America. Mm. But there's something a little bit special about it that I can't quite put my finger on yet. Because when I first heard it, I thought it was a, a little bit American. But now that I think, no, I don't think it sounds like a typical American accent. Hi. Why? I wonder what he's picking up on. I mean, obviously, we have the visuals that then are going to be tricking our brain into going, well, of course, it's an American accent. She's wearing the flag and we can see her and it just all lines up then. But then what is he picking up on that is throwing him off? That your first instincts are going, yeah, I know what that is. And then after listening to a second line, he was then just thrown off. I mean, maybe it was just the line overall and not actually the accent at all. But what is it that he's listening to? Because he didn't elaborate. If he went, yeah, I'm getting hints of Quebec, then you'd go, okay, then maybe he's thinking it's going to be in Canada. But no, he just went, mm, I I'll just have to listen to it more so I guess we'll see if he gets to revisit it if he had to lock in his answer there or whatever it is but now we're on to Canada and I do wonder how different these two are going to be as you could make them if you really wanted to very very similar or you could make them quite far apart especially if you did get French Canadian and then I don't know southern USA that is two very very big differences there hi nice to meet you I'm Carrie and I'm an English coach. It's a good country. <laughs> I like my country. <laughs> it has four seasons and a lot of the geography is very different in different parts of the country too. Hers was very like kind of sweet and friendly. It kind of yeah. makes me feel comfortable. It's sort of like, it's kind of like your, you know, your next door neighbor, that kind of, how does this describe it? <laughs> it is difficult actually to describe the 
almost emotional feeling that someone's voice inhibits. Besides just going, oh yeah, it's calming or aggressive or whatever it may be, soft, delicate in these cases, it is definitely difficult to describe it even further than that and going, ah, oh, I need to provide an example of my neighbor's best friend's dog, cousin's sister's in law. I don't know. There are so many different possible combinations there, but I was trying to listen to it myself and go, hmm, what could I be picking up on that would be different to make me not say that it's an American accent? And the entire sentence sounded very just general North American until it was the two at the end. Just at the end here, when it really just swoops down in the parts two. Of the country too. Oh, there's something about it, and I don't know, It's I guess it just swoops down into almost like a took. It, it, it just hits a U in there instead of being two. It just has a two, which is so nuanced, but that was what I picked up on when I just had to close my eyes and try and focus on what I was listening to instead of just seeing the big old maple leaf. But then very immediately feel comfortable, you know, feel welcome. I feel like if I went to the country she's from, no guess yet, but I'd be very welcome no immediately. Yet. I would just feel like I'm with friendly people. We are known to be friendly. Exactly. <laughs> hey, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't be giving too much away just yet. You need to be leaving him just to be making the guess correctly. Because even we saw before that he was second guessing himself about the first one, and that one is going to be the most generic one of the bundle. We also still have Scottish, which I would certainly hope especially out of these three, being from England and the fact that it was the first accent that he listed when he was asked what are some sexy accents, it was Scotland and so if he didn't recognise the Scottish accent that would be pretty poor form, especially like I said in relative terms. You have North American and then UK, like th that's not one in the same at all. Is your name Wi-Fi? Because I'm feeling a connection. Oh god, uh, what is I like, that? I like that. She's good oh. at that too. She's also good. <laughs> now, for one, why is she whispering? And I mean, I know you don't want to be yelling in his ear, but you could just say the entire thing. Maybe it is kind of in the smoothness and the the way that they just want to be pronouncing it. But realistically, just say it. Have some almost confidence about it. And it might be delivered in an entirely different way. And really just go from being the soft, sweet person living next door down the road to, whoa, Maybe you are just from a different part of the world that I didn't expect. Even just reading ahead because of the subtitles, you can read that the pronunciation is similar to America, and so he knows what he wants to say, so just go out and throw it out there. He was talking about it being friendly, and I'm sure he just picked up on a couple of things, and there were so many little nuances that if you are actually looking for it, especially when you're blindfolded, so your senses are in your ears and that's it, you are going to be noticing what's what, especially if you have them back to back like this. The pronunciation is similar to America, but I think there's something that gives it a slight edge over the American pronunciation. Wow. So I don't think it's America. I think she's edge Canadian. Over. Especially, uh, like, it has the American pronunciation, but there's just something a little bit different about it. Something a little bit better, even. No offense <laughs> to America. <laughs> Actually, I, know, I can't say that. But um, I think Canada. Fair she's enough. got a slight friendlier note to it. I don't know how to describe it. And as yeah. we said, the Canadians are known for being friendly and having that soft, friendly kind of um, way of speaking. She's from Canada. Ooh. Locked it in, fair enough, which I wonder why he then didn't lock in the first one. It's surely they're going to be fairly set in stone, especially if you're going, well, one's one and one's the other. And look, I certainly agree with him in terms of her tone and her delivery certainly gave off this warmth and it was Canada in a nutshell. But at the same time, to be comparing the two accents, they were very, very similar. You can't say that one was better than the other. That is a very tight margin and fine line that you were walking there because it's even just coming down to individuals and just the way that they delivered and even the words that they said might make someone sound better or worse or friendlier or colder or whatever it is. So to be generalizing to that extent, especially if you are going to be going up into Quebec and then over to BC and then even PEI and then down to Texas versus California and Boston. There is so many variables in this massive chunk of land compared to anything. I mean, the UK is in honestly incredible. For the amount of accents that it has in such a tiny portion of land, it's amazing. But the US and Canada combined, I mean, it's the same thing. There are so many possibilities there. I'm Vanille and I'm a writer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And yeah, I've been working as a writer since 2017. I run an online business and I've written a few novels as well. Very, very soft but quiet, but then not in a way that I can't hear it. Quiet in an almost, um, it's like an appealing quiet. Like I'm very focused on her voice and it's kind of like, 
a whisper almost in my ear. Yeah, and I don't know why they all seem to be whispering. Like, you can hear them boosting the audio every time, and I'm sure I'll probably have to boost it a bunch as well, just because it is so quiet, and they're still then whispering in their ear. Like, why are you have to be so quiet? Just talk and say you pick up lines and just get it over and done with. If nothing else, just be a little bit proud about your accent and really just hammer it home. I mean, maybe they've been instructed by the producers of the entire channel here just to be going, okay, don't be all one and exaggerated of your entire accent. Just be just very calm and very sweet and very silent and just play the part that you're meant to be playing like if that's what it is that's fair enough as well because she to being a Scottish accent my goodness it was a lot closer than I expected relatively to the North Americans than I ever would have thought it was going to be. I expected something completely different to what I ended up hearing and especially once I just listened to it I was going wow there was less and less as it just went on and I was going I wouldn't know exactly where I mean maybe if I was in a face-to-face -face conversation with her and I could just kind of pick up on certain things based on questions I might be able to tell but straight off the bat I would go UK but I don't know if I would go Scotland are you alone because you've got my interest <laughs> oh yeah how was that that was uh that was very good, actually. It's really hard to put this into words. Her voice is very unique. I think even yeah. depending on which country she's from, I reckon, I don't know if that voice is normal, but even accent aside, the voice is very, oh, it's hard to describe. The way it sounds is very unique and very, it has a, a, an appeal. So it makes, but that makes it hard to guess which country she's from. I think it is certainly just has to be an amalgamation of it multiple accents like you can have your root base accent from the country you grew up in or you lived in the most of your life and then if you've moved to I guess Korea or whatever else you might be then you might be mingling with and learning all these other languages that could be interfering with your inflections and all of those kind of things so perhaps if they went back to their home country or wherever they grew up and gathered their original accent from it might start to pull them back out of their shell and just really kind of dig deep and you go ah oh, now I can hear it instead of having this mixture of accents in there and that's what I feel like he's talking as much as he is loving the fact that he's picking up on the Scottish accent like he said at the start he's also picking up it feels like to me on other things and that's what he's being confused by because he's going I feel like I, I'm hearing Scottish but I'm also hearing North American and all these other things in here as well and that's at least what I'm hearing well my country is usually pretty cold and uh, oh. the weather's not great but we have really good culture and a lot of like deep history, especially medieval history. This is a really hard one, but I don't think it's anywhere near America or can Canada, because I think Where was her pronunciation be? is just something I am not used to hearing, but I think it's somewhere in Northern Europe, if I had to guess. Yeah, it does so I'm sound gonna like that. go with, there's a slight almost oh. Scandinavian, maybe? It does, it does. Touch to it, which I like actually. If I had to guess, maybe Norway? Yeah. I see I'm where gonna guess Norway. There. So and I hadn't even thought about that as an option. As I was just, again, our brains are just locked in because we know what it is, but that's exactly what it is. And I think it is a bit of a combination of her super soft vocals and then maybe just hanging around a bundle of Americans and maybe even uh, international students, whatever it may be, has kind of drawn her away from her Scottish. As when she was talking about a country, it certainly came out more and I went, ah, there it is, even though I now do want to see his reaction when he finds out that she is Scottish because he went, oh, I'm sure that's why it sounded a little bit familiar. And then I wonder, she did talk about it being quite cold and so maybe he's not thinking as cold as that. He's thinking like frozen, not just frozen. So in terms of pickup lines and in terms of who is the best at flirting, who would, if I was at like a bar or something, who would do the best at picking me up? I think first I think one seems to be one. the most uh, natural in terms of like kind of almost seduction kind of pickup <laughs> line and that but then the third one has I think I don't know how to say this in English but there's a very unique charm about her voice I especially um, correct me if I'm wrong but didn't his country kind of invent the language like he's literally from England and he's speaking English and he doesn't know the word in English I mean I would love to know what he's thinking then in what language is he thinking in but that was just such a random thing to go hang on a second I don't know the word in English that's my mother tongue and what that doesn't make any sense to me I don't know how to say this in English but there's a very unique charm 
about her voice, especially that accent. I don't know exactly where she's from, but I think in terms of accents, I found the third one's accent to be really good for me. But if I had to answer in terms of who gave me just the most pure attractiveness, just based on a pickup line, I'm gonna pick the first one, I think. That's so awkward. At least they weren't there right then, but just the way he has to talk about it and it's so objective, I don't know, it, it, like it, it just is. It's based on his exact audio perception of everything and there's nothing else he can do about that. But man, he's brutally honest or nicely honest, I guess, in a way as well. So it's going to be certainly interesting to see what happens once they do finally reveal himself or reveal themselves to him. Hello everyone. Hi. Oh. Hi, I'm Hallie. I am from the US. Oh. So you were right. Oh, I'm glad. I got it right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm from Canada, so you were also correct. Oh, I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Hi, I'm Vanille and oh. I'm from Scotland. Ah. Did you say he's Yeah, right. I made a big mistake. I think maybe it's because of our stereotype. But we, when we hear the Scottish accent, we have a very big stereotype of a very strong, like Scottish accent, like we're really overpronounced. Yeah. But then maybe in real life, because it's more subtle, then maybe I was thrown off. But you know, it was it wasn't too far away because I was thinking in Europe, Northern yeah. Europe was right, right, and I was Close thinking, <laughs> I was thinking like Vikings. Uh, yeah, and then, so you got the Vikings in Norway, and then Scotland, you got yeah. the. It's almost just like. See, that's where I, he would have got thrown off a little bit when they are describing their countries, because secondly, they said, well, for the second lady, she was like, yeah, it's a cold country. Oh no, I think they both said it's a cold country. So you're just going to be having, okay, where's cold, where's north? Uh, these countries are more north than those countries. And if you're thinking that, you know, a lot of England think that the UK is kind of England as well. So maybe you're not really even kind of on your radar. If you're going, okay, we've had North America, North America. Oh, we wouldn't have one that's in the UK unless I really recognize it. And then all of a sudden you go, okay, well, I'll venture out a little bit and I'll just go Vikings. But nope, all of a sudden you have a rich history and culture, like she says, that's just literally your next door neighbors. But yeah, I should have, I should have known. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> I think um, the American accent is very good at that naturally. Yeah, Americans would say I don't have a typical American accent. Oh, really? Mm. Huh? Well, I am from the South. South America, which state? Um, Georgia. Georgia. Ah. Well, Georgia, Alabama. Ah, Georgia, Alabama. I can hear it a bit now. <laughs> no, I think the Southern American accent, especially around those that area, is probably yeah. going to be quite good for sexy pickup lines, that kind of vibe. <laughs> Seems to be your strong point. Dave, 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 if that's what he likes and that's a compliment, we're fair play, just go ahead and rock it. It's always funny when you hear the states pronounce their own state, whether it be a city or the state itself or something even just generalized about that state, be it corn or the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, whatever it may be, it just, it triggers something in your brain and you go, oh, I can hear it now. Like there are so many states in the USA that you go, they start to all mix together and you can hear the middle and hear the sides. But, you know, think about the, the Northeast coast. There's about 50 states or I guess about 15 states in a couple of hundred Ks. But then again, I guess you compare some Boston to New York and you just work your way down and very quickly you're having some nice changes if you know what you're looking for and if you can actually have the context to pick up on it, which I guess is exactly what he was talking about with the Scottish accent, just going, I'm used to having this really strong, overdone, almost exaggerated Scottish accent. So when you have this, it's just not even on your radar. And so as much as of course they are just going to be limited to the people that they can get their hands on, I would also just love for them just to be really just messing with people's minds and maybe just get some kind of expert in, but then go, hang on a second, we're gonna grab someone from Eastern Canada and just rip the Irish straight out of them and just put them in here because you can have so much of those mingled accents that someone might have no idea they're going, I don't know, is it Boston? Is it Canadian? Is it Irish? Maybe it is Norway. Yeah, I could tell the slight difference between the American and the Canadian accent, which I'm quite proud of actually, because normally yeah. British, we would just have no idea, like it's all American in our minds. But I felt yeah. that it was just a slight more, there's a stereotype that Canadians are friendly, but then I could almost actually just hear that stereotype just through the accent, if you know what I mean. Which I could ridiculous. almost hear like a little bit of extra true. friendliness here and a little bit of uh, smoothness, sexiness from the American accent when I had the pickup line, so. Were, were there any words that like, 
tip that tipped you off? There were no words that tipped me off. Maybe I'm oh, out of the loop. Interesting. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, the fact that he has no words that he can pick up on is crazy. Like, I feel like he's then just going off the contextual clues that they gave him. Like, oh, it's cold. Oh, we're known for being friendly. Oh, this. Oh, we're known for... There's so many things that you can go, oh, okay, subconsciously it's cold, it's friendly, it has to be Canada. Like, that's just basically a two box, tick the box and you win. It, it's that simple. And then when you go... Well, I've had one American and I'm not going to be having two Americans and I can't even go Alaska and I'm not going to be going Hawaii. So there we go. Bam, bam. One fills the box and the other one is just a process of elimination and it also works. So it's almost cheating in that regard. And that's where all of a sudden he had no context and he wasn't too far off. Norway and Scotland certainly aren't that far, but he definitely was never thinking Scotland as far as we could ever tell or as far as we were ever told from him. So realistically, I don't see how it's fair to be saying, oh, tell them about your country because they can either give someone so much context or not and they just should have had a more open dialogue maybe some even just pre full questions where they answer the same thing but just to be getting some more words in his mind so then maybe you can pick up on the one or two words that tip you off and go ah now I've found you like I had with the two there was just something about it that went like a toque. Obviously as I was saying it's fun for me I'm I get to hear a bunch of women whisper in my own different <laughs> accents so I enjoyed it uh, I don't know how much they get to enjoy it, but for me at least, <laughs> I get to receive it all, so I'm very happy with today. Well, yeah, I would say one of my hobbies is I like making people feel awkward. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think she'd be yeah. good at that. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting to hear about your different perceptions between mm. our accents and the vibe that you could get just, just from our voice. So uh, that was interesting to hear. Uh, I was a little shy, but it was really fun seeing if somebody could guess. Were you expecting him to guess yours since he said that? I saw the British favorite. flag and yeah. I wondered. Ah, uh, really? Um, it's because I haven't, I haven't been to Scotland. Oh, all that way. Because I haven't been to Scotland, that's why I gotta go. So today, I chose the sexiest English accent. And he also just managed to completely contradict himself from the start. I mean, they didn't exactly have an Australian here, but he did say, oh, Scottish, that's the first one that comes to mind. Didn't even choose her at all. It wasn't even on the radar at all. And so it would be amazing if you could have just every manner of English in there. Just three or four or five American states, a couple of different provinces in Canada, Australian, South African, Scottish, Norwegian, I don't know, there's a German, just chuck them all in there. Just see truly one and for all who this guy from the UK picks and then maybe just mix it around see if different countries like different accents there are some that are generally always higher than others and I guess that's sad for some and good for others but hey could also just be a matter of confidence in terms of the delivery you know she even admitted to the fact that she likes putting people in awkward situations which is going to give her a leg up in terms of how that is going to be delivered as well as the accent may cater towards that as well and so there are so many nuances to whether someone is going to prefer it or someone isn't going to prefer it and of course as everyone knows it's hardly going to be the make or break especially across all of English there's a lot of forgiveness overall but hey if someone prefers something and someone floats their boat that is what it is. Everyone just has their own preferences and that's all good for me.